What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links episode. Today we're going to be going over the Toon World event and the reward cards you can get from it, just generally looking at how good they are. We're also going to be opening up a few packs of Neo Impact. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so we have Neo Impact packs we're going to be opening. I really do want to get Element Saurus, I believe it's called. Um, it's one of the few cards that I need for the Rex deck that's really, really competitive right now. I'm trying to build a Rex deck. For those of you that don't know, we are going to be doing a video where I farm him. I don't have the cards to make the deck to farm him properly with, though, right now. So I'm sort of waiting for those to pop up at the card trader. But we are going to go ahead and try to get a few Element Source if we can. So let's go ahead and buy 10 packs of Neo Impact. And we'll see if we can't pick up a Mirror Wall and possibly a couple Element Saurus. Shadow Slayer, not what we were looking for. Uh, we got a few new cards. Another Machine King. That's nice, I suppose. Come on. Element Valkyrie. Not what we're looking for. We need... Not Dragon Seeker. Not that eyes. Oh, we got we got Rainbow. We got the eyes. What's going on here? Um, Jerry Beans Man. Yes. Okay, so we do need three Jerry Beans Man. It's a fantastic beatdown card. It dodges the Ladybug of Doom, whatever that's called. I forget. The, the four-star Ladybug of Doom, I believe it's called. It dodges that fantastic beatdown card. Really happy we picked that up. Okay, come on. Fury of the Spring, not what we're looking for. Come on, Element Saurus. Just give me one. Just give me one. No. Uh, oh, we got gold and we got stuff in the background. We got the BAM. Okay, okay, okay. We get, It's not gonna... Okay, Half Shut. This is an interesting card. Very happy to get an Ultra Rare. Don't get me wrong. It's a weird card, though. It only works in certain decks, and it's definitely more of a defensive card that's going to be less relevant when the new set comes out, and we'll talk about that in a future video when we go over the new set, but I just want to say, like, this is an okay card. It's definitely solid as far as pulls are concerned, but I might actually end up converting it because I do want Ultra Rare Crystals for more Rare Yoku and possibly other cards that they'll add in the future, so... Just a gray wing. God dang it, man. We are not pulling anything that I really, really want. You know, like this is another Doriado. No element Saurus. That is actually really unfortunate. We're definitely going to pull more in the future, but you know what? That's that's totally fine. We got an ultra rare. I'm happy about that. We popped a quest apparently. Okay, we got some ultra rare cards. We got the we got the gold bars, we got the money bags icon, so that's kind of cool. All right, guys, so if you take a look at the actual rewards page on duelinks.gamia, I'm not sure exactly what that's pronounced like, but it's duelinks.gamia.co. You can see it in the top of the screen there. Basically, you can take a look at all of the cards that are going to be in the new sets or the new set that got leaked, actually. Um, if you're curious, you can also take a look at the cards you can get from the Toon World event. Now, I don't think Toon cards are going to be relevant because if Toon cards ever actually become overpowered enough to use regularly, then we're just going to see people running three copies of Twister. And that's really the end-all be-all counter to Toon World because then people can't play their Toon cards and that's going to be that. They pay a thousand life points and then they get Twistered and it's a net positive for the player that's going up against the Toon World deck, and the Toon World player cannot actually play their cards. So it's a little unfortunate for the Toon World player that there's a direct counter in super rare form. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty common to find quite a few of them in each deck is just a counter for any continuous card. But yeah, guys, that's why I think Toon cards in general are not going to be good, but there are some interesting cards in this. Spell Reproduction in particular, I think, will eventually be used when decks sort of move towards silver bulleting the meta. And what I mean by that is generally there are ways that you can counter each deck, and if there's a deck that makes up a majority of the meta in PvP, then you can actually build your deck around countering that deck. And we'll see more and more decks start to have sort of counter cards, and that's just going to be a card that really works towards making it so you can have multiple counter cards that counter different meta decks and be able to just get rid of ones that aren't useful to get back one that you've already used that is useful. That said, it is throwing away three cards to get back one, so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. We'll probably see this run alongside multiple Shard of Greeds or something like that just to make sure that you have the card draw to be able to get rid of cards and still not have a huge disadvantage because of it. Card of Sanctity isn't anything, Gorgon's Eye, House of Adhesive Tape, Mine Hacks, there's just nothing 
Toon Alligator is not a big deal. Dark Eyes Illusionist, um, it's interesting, but I do think that there are other cards that are going to fill that role better than it can because it has no attack and it's a two drop. There's really no reason to run this over a uh, Mask of the Accursed at the moment. So I, at least none that I can think of. If you guys can think of anything, please let me know. But I don't think that there's any reason to run it. Now, it might be run alongside of Mask of the Accursed to lock down your entire opponent's field. And I could definitely see that happening. Otherwise, I just don't think it has a place. And we already really talked about the tunes and everything. Tune Blue Eyes White Dragon, Tune Summon Skull, Tune Defense. They're cool cards. I love the tunes. I just don't think that they can ever really shine in a card game that has 20 card decks and can pack three of each card in each deck where there can be three twisters just specifically in your deck to counter your opponent's deck completely. Honestly, I think one of the only cards that's going to see any use out of this entire event overall in the meta is probably Relinquished, and even then, I'm not sure if it's going to be overly used. I think it might be used in certain decks, but it's definitely not going to be the entire meta. I will say this, though. The event overall looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for them to actually implement it into the app, and I do think that it's going to be just an awesome, fun time for everyone involved. And I will certainly be getting that icon, you better believe that. But yeah guys, that's gonna be about it for this one. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the daily content. I'm really enjoying making it for you guys. And hope to see you back here for the next video very, very shortly. Until then, peace.